Chess friends, how are you? As you know Ding becomes world champion for 2023, he defeats Ian Nepo in round 18, I analyzed this game with my 50 depth vision, and found several blunders and inaccuracy moves, and this is your today's puzzle, 110 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ian started with e4 and we have the top engine opening Rui Lopez by Ian Nepo, a6 bishop backs and this game turned into the c84 closed variation of Rui Lopez, this opening is more likely to game 16. The exact same moves but after move 12, we do see here bishop back to be won by Nepo, in previous game, he played bishop c4, however the bishop is doing the same job here, targeting to the pawn, so Ding tries to save the pawn with queen e8 b3 c5 knight takes and knight to c6, here best move to play c3 but Ian played knight c3 a5 by Ding knight d2 bishop e6 knight c4, d5 and we have center exchanges with the pawn and knight, here best move is to play knight takes knight, let me show you the variation. After takes takes c3, to protect the square, then f5 as a response white can consider f3 and the game could play like this, but in our actual game, Ian played bishop e2, best was to take the knight so after knight takes bishop takes c3 and we have another pieces exchanges on c4, bishop d7 by ding to protect the pawn with 1-2 pieces from white's attacking pieces, bishop d2 by Ian, he want to play c3 to protect that square from the knight's entry and the bishop is coming to target the pawn. Here we have bishop c7 c3 f5, rook e1 inaccuracy move, best was to activate the queen on c2, rook d8 by ding, warn move, best was to play queen d7 to get rid from this e file from rook's attack, rook a2, I will say it is a blunder move, you no need to move up your rook for no reason and the rook gets unguarded from the another rook, best was to play bishop g5, let me show you the variation, if white plays bishop g5 to target it, then rook here. Black wasted a move to moving the rook now bishop here h6 to target the bishop and you might think, the bishop gets surrounded by the black's army, no fool, bishop f4 will come, queen d7 and bishop, back to h2, the bishop should stay on this diagonal to reduce black's attacking chances to white's kingside, but in this position we have rook a2 instead of bishop g5 so ding takes advantage on there by playing queen g6 queen here queen d6 warn move, best was to play king h8. They are just mistaking the moves, e4 by ding, trying to break the file, its mistake move best was to play king h8, so Ian takes it here comes knight to e5 but don't be afraid if your king and every pieces are secured, queen g2 mistake, best was to play queen d1 to empower your pieces so the knight comes to d3 bishop takes queen takes d3, the bishop is coming to attack to your paralyzed pawn and Ian played another mistake move pawn takes f5, in this position, best move was to play e5. Let me show you the variation, after e5 rook takes rook takes e5 and bishop takes e5. White loses a pawn but he have savage move queen d5 check, now the queen is targeted so you have to take the queen, pawn takes and that's it, best plan was to do queen exchanges so black can't attack white further move, Ian had a chance to make this game draw, yes you heard right, it's totally drawable position, back to the position, Ian takes the pawn on f5 and folded his position on e-file, if a stranger gives you ice cream then you shouldn't accept it, after rook takes e1 bishop takes rook, queen takes pawn, he targets to the rook, rook a1 by Ian, not bad but best was to play rook d2, rook f5 bishop d2 h6 queen c6, and after some more moves later, we have queen e8 bishop takes pawn rook c1 rook here queen ups and they are playing very fast, ding played 26 moves in just 19 seconds and it's a totally drawable position, ding don't want to make this game draw by 3 repetitive moves so he blocks the check with the rook move, by the way he have 2 passed pawns, here comes queen f5 blunder move. Best was to play h4, because this queen move loses control to the c4 square with rook, any 1800 rated player can see it, so ding takes advantage of his blunder by pushing his pawn, Ian blundered by moving the queen, in human eyes it's a minus 3 position but in my eyes, I can make this game draw from this position with white but Ian isn't stockfish, he is Ian Nepomniachi, his name on the board, he played another blunder move h4. According to me best was to play queen here to neutralize the diagonal with the bishop, if a grandmaster plays warn move, 
then don't be afraid, take advantage of his blunder, now Ding played queen d3, queen exchanges can't be possible, because the pawn will be third rank pawn and the a pawn is also available to create troubles for you, so, here we have queen f3, in this position best move is to play bishop d2 let me show you the variation, then rook d1 c3, now c2 is coming. The position will be totally dead lost, so, back to the position, but Ding missed a winnable move and played rook here, however the eval bar on his side, Ian played many worn moves in this game and Ding takes the advantage, you know what, what does that means in our artificial intelligence language, that means that Ding wins the game by chance, by his luck, world champion Ding wins the game by his luck, Ian played like a 1000 rated kid. Here is a another blunder move queen e8 best was to play queen e2 to protect the rank and save his pieces, now rook c6 queen to a8, the queen get into the jail, she can't be back to stop black's pawn promotion, but ding plays blunder move rook d6, best was to play c2, so Ian takes the rook queen takes rook, now queen e4 check queen blocks here queen b1 king h2, a4 blunder move, because this a pawn move weakening the black's structure, best was to play queen f5 then c2, push the pawn, now bishop here and a3. Of course it's a wasted move, now Ian get the another chance to make this game draw by taking the pawn on g7. Let me show you the variation, after bishop takes pawn if you don't take the bishop and push forward your pawn, to hoping to get another queen, the bishop d4, no matter what black will play, he will lose the game, if pawn promotion happen then queen f7 check will be a checkmate, game will be over for Ding Liren and the world champion would be in Nepo, and exact in this position, if you think, what about if I take the bishop, king takes then queen check. Black king will face infinite checks and the game will be a draw, there is no hope for black, but Ian Fool didn't sacrifice the bishop, he is 2800 rated human, but he plays like 280 rated bot, he plays queen c7, hoping that, Ding Liren will overlooked it, no fool, queen here queen c4 c2, this pawn is protected by the queen so we have bishop here, and after some more moves later, we have king f1 bishop e5 but best was to play c1 queen then after bishop takes pawn queen would arrive on b1 square. Then push the a pawn with zero fear, but we have g4 takes here queen here queen d5, g3 to opening up the position, we have f4 and that's it, white's king gets exposed, Ian still plays from this position, and after bishop takes f4, he resigned the game, because there is no hope, look at the Ian's reaction, he is totally disappointed, he made so much wrong moves and he regrets for it, he resigned the game and sit up in front of Ding, he is totally, I mean, he lose his dream to win world championship. Look at the position, after takes here, the game will be checkmated by few moves, queen check king here, takes and checkmate, game is over, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.